touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Titans take over first and 10. At their own the Titans game. offense set to begin the drive. And the interception last time on the opponent's side of the field, certainly not what they wanted. That put it mildly. It was so frustrating because that signifies there's a drive going on. You're in a good spot. Great place to run some of your best offense. Instead, they turn the ball over. They'll turn the ball over last time. See if they can avoid doing it here. From the 25 on second down, Tannehill. He finds Corey Davis. Pass the 20. 10. Touchdown, Titans. Corey Davis. 75 yards and the Titans get the quick strike touchdown they were already down two scores early they needed something to try to stem that tide and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone it qualifies indeed because let's face it they don't get something done on this drive turn it back over this game could be 88 and out the gate early what 88 and out the gate yeah. what's that well, listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it usually meant that thing's done. Well, now that they got the touchdown, it's it's not 88 now at the game. We still got a good game going ahead of us. 25-yard line. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Rodgers with a give, it's Aaron Jones. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain there, and it brings forth a third and long. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. On third and long, it's Rodgers. And that is incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. And now they're going to go for it. This isn't fourth and inches. This is fourth and 14. Here we go on fourth down with Rodgers. And the Titan defense steps up here, and down he goes. It's Jeffrey Simmons that time who got in to record the sack. I don't know why you would do that. It's almost guaranteed points the other way. I mean, I get it if it's a late-game situation, maybe even fourth and inches. But, boy, that's a huge risk to take. Yeah, now they're set up in prime position going the other way. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Kenny Clark, the big D tackle there to make the stop. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter, 14-7. to seven. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And a very good return as he takes us all the way up to the 35-yard line. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 35-yard line. At their own 35-yard line. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. They'll give him eight on the play, and it'll be a second down. Eight yards on the pickup brings up second and two. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. 
When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Packer first down. First and 10 at the 47-yard line. Rodgers to throw once more. Looking downfield for Jones. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked up by the USC man, Adore Jackson. Ah, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. After the interception, here's Tannehill. Smith catches left side. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Out of the gun, Tannehill. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Brings up second and two. At the, the left side, throw complete to Adams. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Rodgers again now. This throw is going to be incomplete. Good coverage that time by Malcolm Butler. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Now the Packers are going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Off the play fake to Jones, here's Rodgers. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers, three first half touchdown passes. And the Packers add six to their lead. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it. That can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. 25-yard line. Nine seconds to play, likely the final snap of the first half as it's first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Adrian Amos with a pick. And he's given his guys a shot from late points as they will take over in range for a field goal or maybe more. First and ten at the 30 yard And line. this one is right down the middle. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports.
All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Titans going to get the ball to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back to it on EA Sports. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Titans take over first and 10. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me one, see that when we're having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass, and it finally kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. Here's Tannehill. Quick slant to Brown. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. A gain of nine yards. First down, Tennessee. Tannehill with a play fake to Henry. He'll throw instead. And nearly another interception. They've been around the ball all game. Incomplete. Green Bay, Wisconsin is the spot. Third quarter inside Lambeau. Glad you're with us. Second and ten. This is caught inside the 15. Complete. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Still all sorts of time left in this game, and you'd like to be able to say, take it one play at a time. But the truth is, they're probably going to have to hit on a few big plays in the passing game to close this gap, and that's a good start right there. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So that was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone, possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. Call that a gain of five as the clock ticks inside of two minutes to go now in the third. They'll go again to Jones. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. They'll roll him out right. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. And no move to get the offense off the field. Despite failing once, they're going to go again here on fourth down. They do go for it. It's Rodgers. And this is incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Titans, they've got the football back, and they've got it in great field position. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And now he lost the football. Tannehill loses it. But it looked like the Titans were able to recover, and indeed, they will keep possession of the ball. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass 
and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Third and long, it's Tannehill. Airing it out deep for Smith. Green Bay up to the task there in coverage and forcing a fourth down. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. They snap it to Tannehill. And my goodness, this is incomplete. The Titans try it, but ultimately they fail on fourth down. And the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. A turnover on down. Rodgers now on first down. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones at a first down. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Back now at Lambeau. It's Packer football here as they've got the lead as well to begin the fourth quarter. Seven. Second down at five. Now Rodgers on the bootleg. And Lewis has it, the tight end. And he'll go down at the 28. Seven yards there and a first down. They're looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. That good for 22 and a first down. Goal at the six-yard line. Now Jones. He gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. He was brought down. Second and goal from inside the five. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. Aaron Jones, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Packers add on to their lead. Well, BAT would extend their lead, but there is a flag on the play. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. From the gun, here's Tannehill. And finds a man with a crossing route. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A gain of 16 yards. And the Titans first down. A first down carry for Henry. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Second and 11 at the 42-yard line. They'll run it again with Henry. And he'll be taken down after a pickup of about seven as the clock will stop here for the two-minute warning. A seven-yard gain on the play. And it's third down. Go. 
So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. From the gun on third down, Tannehill. The open man is Smith. And he will have a Titans first down. He needed five. He got it barely as it will officially go down as a gain of five yards. Tannehill throwing complete there to Humphreys. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And a great return as he's up close to the 40-yard line. So many times we end a game, and as we're recapping it, we're talking about what offenses did and how they won the game. Let's flip this one over. The defense, they frustrated the offense the entire ball game. That's why they're walking out of here with a victory. And they're going to love to walk out of here with that as their final act, that interception. Good way for them to end it. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. So line of scrimmage still at 39 on second and 10. Rodgers looking to throw. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 11 yards there. First down. Throwing now is Rodgers. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Charles, thinking back to what you said in the first quarter, the part of the magic elixir for a road victory for these underdogs was going to be winning the turnover battle. Well, they only have one right now. Look at the scoreboard. Yeah, not exactly playing to the form that I subscribed, right? When we talk about winning that turnover battle, that evens things out, especially for a road team, especially for a team that's an underdog. A game there of 30 big ones. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Well, partner, when a team's up this big, this late in the game, I always wonder, what's their motivation? Because if it's me, I'm thinking about pulling on the reins a little bit. But for them, I don't think it's in their DNA. It's not their head coach's makeup at all. I think his opinion is, you stop us. We're not supposed to pull back ourselves. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Titans take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Packers take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When, when do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they will take them out. But for the most part, 
They're not as worried and concerned about getting him out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points in the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Packers are winners here as we say so long from Lambeau.